The Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project, SERAP, has sent a Freedom of Information FOI request to Zainab Ahmed, the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, asking her to urgently provide information on the total amount of money paid to contractors from the $460 million loan obtained in 2010 from China to fund the Abuja Closed Circuit Television CCTV contract. The group urged Mrs. Ahmed to disclose specific details of local contractors, if any, that have received funds from the loan for the CCTV contract reportedly awarded to China's ZTE Corporation, as well as the implementation status of the project. Serap Deputy Director Kalawali Uluwadari said the group is concerned that Nigerians are being made to pay for the Chinese loans for apparently failed projects and for which they have not benefited in any way, shape or form. Serap said it would take legal actions if the request is not provided within 14 days of receipt or publication after later. Joining me in the studio is uh, the Serap Executive Director, Adetu Kumbo Mumuni. Thank it's you a, very it's much. It's a pleasure being here. It's a pleasure being here. Why is this project of interest to your organization and what do you know that we don't? <clears throat> The standpoint of SERAP is transparency, accountability in public and private matters. We have three principal methods by which we work. We work through advocacy, we work through publication, we work through litigation. It appears that civilization is what people have known us to engage in. But as a matter of fact, for, for those of us who are court goers, litigation is like the ultimate resort. You don't see, litigation is not easy, it's not a tea party, because it's time consuming, it involves a lot of work. But what we have seen is that um, in 2007, a loan of $460 million was obtained from China to finance certain projects. One of the principal projects for which it should be financed is the CCTV covering of the Abuja environment. And you see, we have been talking about security challenges. It's confronting Nigerians in the FCT. Now, assuming this project, CCTV monitoring project had been proper, properly concluded, a lot of the security challenges we face will be reduced. Because the purpose of CCTV is to cater for the security need of the Abuja environment. So that, we know what we have been facing in terms of security challenges. Now, it appears as if that contract is, is a failed contract. Now, Nigeria is to repay the loan with interest. So, we are talking about double jeopardy for Nigerians in respect of the project. The project in respect of which they have not benefited. The principal sum will be paid, the interest will be paid. Now, we should also know, for instance, the various contractors that had collected money from this money, whether domestic or foreign contractors. We should also know the stage of the completion or the stage of the project. Yeah, well, the, the, the woman you're asking for these information yes. said explicitly during the Senate um, uh, session that she does not have the details of how the contract was expended, but that the funding is what she is more interested in. Good. You see, government is a continuum. We should not listen to the stories of I don't know. Once you are a minister of the federal government in your beat. Whatever goes on before you, you must be interested in it. Whatever affects you as you are there, you must be interested in it. So nobody should listen to stories of, I don't know. Government has formalities. Government has continuity. So that is the point. They cannot tell us that. Information about how the financing of the project has been going on should be in the public domain, should be a matter of public record. Have they acknowledged your petition? No, we have sent it to them. It was sent at the weekend. Let's hope that by tomorrow we will receive response. 
In your opinion, what could be the likely challenges that you know stalled this project from implementation? What we have been used to. Probably some government officials are trying to profit from it. Some private combined with government officials are trying to profit from it. We are used to seeing these things. But what we have not been used to is people asking questions about it. It's important that we ask questions so that will make sense and will benefit Nigerians. What about the political angle to this? We have the ruling and the opposition part. Is the, AP, the APC and the PDP trading blames as to who is responsible for this project? What's your take on it? Every government came in at a particular point in time. It's a matter of public record that PDP was in charge from 1999 up to 2015. The APC took over in 2015. Uh, they are now they are hoping to stay in the position till 2023. So nobody should tell us, uh, nobody should convince us about that. It's as simple as that. It's a matter of public record that a particular person, a particular party was in power from a particular period of time up to a particular period of time. Well, they are person, no longer in power now. Shouldn't no, no, the no, no, party no, no. in power be responsible for no, 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 what? No, 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 no. We are asking for a loan that was taken in 2010. Ten. The party was in power at that time. The party is now in power. It's a matter of public importance. So they should tell us what has happened to the law. You gave an ultimatum of yes. 14 days. Yes. And if nothing happens, you're going to litigate. Yes. Uh, how serious is that threat? Ah, I don't think there has ever been a time we gave an undertaking to litigate. That we didn't litigate once what we asked for is not given to us. Well, this takes a long while. Do you see this stalling for your court cases are notorious for the length of time? Will you I, I, expect to get a response between now and when this administration is out? No, what? No, 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 no. This, the, the, the Freedom of Information Act is so clear on it. When you make a request, the request has to be handled within 14 days. You, once it is not handled within 14 we are just giving them 14 days. It's not the requirement of the law that we give them 14 days. The requirement of the law is that we give them 7 days. But we have set 14 days so that they will have the time to go into the record and give us what we want. It's a matter of public interest that Nigerians must know what happened to that specific contract because we are facing security challenges of monumental proportion. Thank you very much for coming on the news. It's a pleasure.